Good afternoon, guys. Um, I'm on here for a reason. Okay, one of my neighbors uses medical marijuana, and he has a really, really good reason for it. So I am very supportive of his need for it. I am very, very, very supportive of Bev and her need for it because it works for her, guys. She's like me and has major chemical allergies. She can't even use the pain med I use, okay? Um, and I use a 10 milligram hydrocodone is what I use. I have in the past been on fentanyl and it was a great medication for me, but at this point in our lives, it is not affordable. Not at like $1,400 a month. No. And we made the decision that we were going to try to keep me on as little pain medication as possible because of the grandbaby. So, I only take about 10 days worth of pain, ma pain meds a month. Sorry about the tongue twisting. I've only had two cups of coffee and it's already almost 1 o'clock. It's been a very crazy morning, which I did a video and I will post that right about the time I post this. Um, but I wanted to explain something to you guys. Um, he told me he, he would love for the world to know about this because he was actually a sweetheart. He's a very young man. Um, and he thought this allergy to cannabis and marijuana and all of that was bull till he did his research. And he found out that when he sees the hives on my face like right now, that's a beginning sign that I'm in trouble because somebody used marijuana and the smoke got anywhere near me. Um, if I take it in, I will die. I will die. I am the one person that, you know, it's 1% of the entire world's population has this allergy. So yes, it's extremely rare, but I am not the only one, guys. There's a, there's a lot of us out there. And that number is growing as people are being exposed to it. So, it just is. Alright, it sets off asthma attacks, it raises my heart rate, and it breaks me out in hives when I'm on antihistamines. If I'm not on antihistamines, I feel my throat close and my lungs just stop. I can't breathe. I cannot intake any oxygen. So, this is what it is. Um, and I wanted to explain that to you because he asked me to. I guess some of his family and friends watch my channel, which thank you very much for that. Uh, it is an exceptionally rare allergy, but it does exist, and it's a, for me, a very deadly allergy. This is not a mild allergy for me like most people. This is a severe anaphylaxis. I will die. I carry an EpiPen for two reasons. Bees and the presence of marijuana in Arizona. Um... So I wanted to explain that to you guys. It is not an option for me, which is fine. I think the stuff smells awful. I definitely would not want to use it because I was raised in a time when you didn't do that or by a parent where you didn't do that. Spooky, you're going to get put in the bathroom. He's growling. So that's basically all I wanted to explain was that allergy and how it works and how rare it is. But yes, it is real. <coughs> And he wanted people to understand, as do I, that this is a real deal, guys. Real deal. I'm going to go deal with the animals. We'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.